So hello, hello, welcome back to the Grand Campaign today. We're going to be playing as the Mighty Nation of Finland. So we're going to go probably, you know, two hours, probably 4.30ish is when we're going to be ending the stream today. So, right now, where are we as Finland? We're currently in 7th place, we have 38 prestige, 16 industry, 43 military score. Uh, again, we're not going to do post-colonialism. Um, at least for right now, if we do post-colonialism, we'll do it at like 1900. Maybe. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of see. So our income is looking decently okay. We're spending way too much on the Navy. Cut that down. Tariffs seem, for the most part, fine. Uh, please increase education spending, like, immediately. So, for us to... Like, what one of our goals should be, probably like, try to form Scandinavia. Scandinavia does have some interesting quirks to it, though. Uh, primarily that this area down here, for some reason, is Scandinavian cores. Um, I, I know how we can definitely fix that. Who owns this? France. Okay, so... But you're also a Scandinavian core. So we somehow need to take this island from France. We need to take this territory away from the Polish. And this area down here in Croatia, um, I'll probably just uh, do some console commands to so not worry about it as much. Ma mainly our priority are these areas here. Do we, what do we need actually to form Scandinavia? Right, the Baltic states. Wait, can you not make? Can you not make, um, Scandinavia as Finland? Danish Straits. Create the Baltic states. We don't have all of the cores of Estonia. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing we need this province. Yes, yeah, so we could create the Baltic states. Theoretically, take over this land. I don't know how likely that's going to be, though. Are you Orthodox? Yes, we are Orthodox. Um, how many people in our country are actually Finnish? So we, we own a lot of territory. Um, actually 35%. We're actually the biggest ethnic group, which I'm actually a little surprised by. Oh, that's because a lot of this territory over here is actually Finnish as well. What used to be Russian. So the Russian people basically just don't even exist anymore. It's almost entirely, uh... Quebec defaults. Not gonna worry about what Quebec's doing these days. So are you allied to anybody? No, you do have a claim. We've, we apparently have a cost spell against you. Demand concession? I mean, I would like to take this territory because it would make my borders look a little bit nicer. Apparently, you're allies to the Japanese and to Fars and the Head Jazz, but I'm not really too worried about any of those right now. You guys... I mean, your armies are... Okay. I'm gonna move you... We actually have a 24 sec over here. I'm gonna move you here. What we want to do, where's our capital? Our capital should be, our capital is in Turku. But what I'm thinking is that we need to, as soon as strategic mobility is done, we need to immediately get our way into interchangeable parts. Because if you remember from the Italy section of the Grand Campaign, basically nobody in the world makes machine parts. It's literally just Italy and Thessalonica. We need, we need to have our industry be better. Because, like, we can't even buy machine parts. I mean, we need to buy machine parts, though. So, I'm going to go to machine parts here. Just try to bot buy up a stockpile. Again, it leaves for right now. Here we go. on troops. Place in the sun. Are you, wait, are you civilized? No, you're not civilized. But you're considered a colony state. Because we can't fully annex you quite yet. We would need to... Um... I think they'll wait until 1870, I believe. But I mean, I wouldn't mind going to war with you. Uh, what province are you? You are Kazan, understandably. How many troops do you guys have? 59 divisions. You're on military tech 2. We're on military tech like 6? Oh, 9. Okay. So we're going to increase military spending. And then we're just going to invade. Invade China. I don't think there's anything in China we could invade. As you can demand concession. But, you know, taking territory from China basically just, like, completely breaks the game. So we're not going to do it. I mean, I could just fight against you. Place in the sun. I mean, it's 5.5 infamy to take this one province. I think it's better just to wait, uh, just wait a while. Apparently you're only one war score as well. Boom, we're at war. We have our troops in a position. We're now at war with, you know, a substantial number of people. The Finno-Korean hyperwar. Now we're just we're just at war with the uh, 
with the Japanese. Big colonial empire in Asia. I mean, if we could, like, theoretically demand concession. I'm surprised you demand concession. Like, if we can make Finland into essentially this universe is Russia, I wouldn't mind it. Um, but again, we really have to wait until we get the cost of bellies to really attack uncivilized countries, which usually happens again in, like, 1870, 1880-ish is when the good cost of bellies actually fire. We have units coming in. I'm going to send over one more 34 stack. Do we have any railroads we can build? No. Okay. Who's in our sphere of influence? We got Lubeck. I should actually take a look at our sphere of influence right now. We're getting Iceland right now. Iceland... And they are a core. But, like, it says that's Scandinavia. Because it's, see how it's, like, lined yellow? That usually means that it's your cultural core. Maybe, no, we have, maybe because we know a national imperialist it's not showing up. I don't know. We'll get you under control next. I mean, I would love to attack Poland. The thing is, they have 155 divisions. We, we would need to start them on a two-front war in some way. Take Indonesia. Well, right now, Indonesia is being split up between the Dutch and the French. Like, we don't really have any way to project power over there anyway, so... At least for right now, our primary concern should be... ...forming Scandinavia in some way. Okay, we did win that battle. Send more reinforcements in. I mean, that, that those, those aren't great-looking numbers, I see. Iceland, we can get you, I think, into my sphere. Welcome. Apparently, Poland's trying to sphere you as well. Are you cordial? Yeah, I don't know why Poland would want uh, Iceland as a friend, but, you know, that's up to, for me to judge. What would we want next, though? What would be our next main... We I mean, could go, like, Canada. Their new world, which is... I, th I think they were Dutch. I think they have Dutch ancestry, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, we could theoretically, like, core... Something in Africa, or not core, but you know, sphere it. You're cordial with, with them. You're right now at war with Croatia. So, you know what? Let's get Yorba land. You're friendly actually with the Dutch. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. So, we're like Swahili. Swahili, I'm gonna see if we can in, uh, put you as my sphere. Take Funge. I think, I think that Italians. Oh no, they're not actually taking Funge. Let's take Funge and let's take Swahili and make our, uh, get some colonial territory there going on. Okay, we did end up losing that battle. They did just have, like, a lot of troops. I can't really blame them. We do have reinforcements on their way. Do I have any alliances? Why, why can't I go to war with you? Add a sphere, repay debts. I mean, are you... You're posed with basically everybody. You're cordial with the French, but that doesn't mean much. Italy, would you like an alliance? No, too many great power allies. Okay, which great power does not have an ally? You're allied to the Dutch. You're allied to nobody. France, you want to be allies? Negative seven. You know what? They would say yes if I get some alliance uh, some favor up here. Of course, we do remember from the last... Uh, from the last campaign. Uh, that France... Massive voice crack there. France didn't perform that well. That's also that's a lot of units you're sending into my country. 49. I mean, we're technically already winning. Man, concession. I mean, if I was to take more land from you, it'd probably be this state right there would make the most amount of sense. Okay, strategic mobility. We merely need to go into interchangeable parts. We need to get um, machine parts going. So that we're not economically stranded, right? Make a pinch of nose, thank you. I mean, you could, like, liberate a country. Afghanistan, Mongolia, the Earl Free State. Persia. I mean, I guess Persia has a lot of territory. Actually, their cores look like a mess. I would definitely need to fix that uh, with some console commands, for sure. Move our way up. 14 stack, I'm not too worried about. We have a 13, 8, and 17. I could send another army down here. I mean, are we fighting anybody that's actually considered civilized? I don't believe so. I mean, we could even add a war gold against the Japanese. 
Um, I mean, what do you have? I mean, could like take Formosa. Do you have any like cheap? I mean, six. Screw it. Let's take let's take a colony from the Japanese as well. Apparently, Japan is the war leader here. But George is trying to sphere funge. I mean, they're neutral right now. Got close. How? Wait. Okay. Why are we making 15 different clothes factories? We don't need... Th they build a clothes factory in every single state! The hell is that? Get rid of some of these, they're, they're worthless. But I shouldn't... I don't want to sphere Croatia. They're already in the sphere of the... Um, of the Italians. I mean, it makes sense, because they do have some of these areas. Again, I would just, I'll just transfer those to me if I can actually um, make things work in the future. We're at 5% here. We could... Um, I'm going to split this army in half. Just send a uh, small strike force to deal with them. 26, move our way up north. I mean, again, we have 12.87 me, so we have, we have a decent amount of infantry that we could play around with. Head Jazz and Fars. I mean, no, you're Persian. I mean, we could take the Arabian Gulf. Like, take this state here. But, I mean, it, it might have oil, and that's kind of what we're looking for, but... I mean, how expensive would taking the Euro be? Uh, demand concession, the Earl is gonna be. The like, thing is, like, it's so expensive. Um, infamy wise, for not really any major gain. Okay, we've gotten influence with Bitero. I don't know who the hell that is. Actually, I guess I can just, like, look it up. Where's Burrow? Okay, they are. These guys in Indonesia. Currently in the sphere of the French. And we do have the Indians down here. India is not civilized yet. They're still considered uncivilized for the time being. And again, they'll probably get there by the end of the game. Dang it, we have a 21 stack coming in. We've got some troops from Hedges trying to, you know, make some maneuvers up north. Where's your capital, by the way? It's all the way down here in Afghanistan, huh? That is pretty far away. Okay, keep moving troops down south. Wahili, we can get you up to uh, Cordial. I'm assuming, right? Yeah, boom. Hey, Japan, do you want to surrender? No, they, they'll surrender at some point for sure. And yeah, keep on moving down. Honestly, I'm going to have you go and slowly siege down the capital. I, I don't expect too much here. Yeah, we did win that fight. Take back our territory. Okay, kill you. Then we need to siege back our war goal. I want to be able to make sure we can actually end this war before we need to actually take any territory in, um... East Taiwan as a launching point for uh, Asian Empire. We could. Okay, Brittany wants alliance. Is Brittany a great power? Because again, I would... They are a great power. I would much prefer the French alliance. Even though France does kind of suck a little bit. We can use them actually to go to war with you. We pay debts. Will the French even join this war? No, they wouldn't even join. Unfortunately, I did lose my uh, sphere cost as badly. You know what? Boom. There we go. I'm out to both of you. Jack and Rebels have risen up in Orangeburg. Really? How dare you? Take back our territory here. I don't like fighting the rebels. I prefer not to, to be quite honest with you. We have 13 stack north. I have an 18 stack that's been hanging up here this whole time? Okay. Yeah, bring him down south, please. Yeah, the Jack and rebels are mostly infantry. Are you going to kill my army? No. Or India civilizes, you should invade them. How many troops do they have? Okay, they do have 282 divisions, which is, you know, pretty significant. 
take puppets, release puppets, demand concession. Unfortunately, we can't do any, um... I mean, what would I even want to take? Probably like Southern Indy or something, right? I mean, it looked the best aesthetically. Who are you allied to? You're allied. Oh, you're allied to China, huh? So that's like 500 divisions that we'd have to deal with, which I honestly think might be a little bit. Might just be something that we actually can't deal with. Yeah, we apparently have stack wiped that army. Move you guys down south. We have a 10 stack there. We do have some rebels, but that's okay. We might just have to wait until the Ming and India decide to not have an alliance together. I don't know how long that will necessarily take. They are war trans me right now. Six World Chinese Unification. They're trying to take over. Yeah, they're trying to take over like the outer territories there. Also, is there any crises looming? Yes, in our own territory. Okay, cool. Move you here. You have another. We have two thirty stacks. They okay. They did. They did end up killing my uh, my army siege in the capital. Which you know what? Fair enough. Just annihilate the Chinese armies. I don't think that's gonna work as well as you think it's going to work. Especially since again, I do, I definitely don't have like a launching point for an invasion. Hence, uh, you. Are going into here. Follow them. Japan, do you want to surrender? No, they'll take a white piece, but a white piece is not really what I'm here for. Hey, we want to kill the rebels. I mean, I also want to pass some reforms. I don't know if any reforms have been passed here yet. No. But everybody hates it. And also, we have, like, no, um, militancy in the country at all. Okay, you're moving your way there. It'll be done the 23rd of August. I don't want to fight him yet. Move you down south. And okay, they've occupied one province of ours, but that's not a huge, huge deal. And again, we should start getting a taking war score here. Soon. Hey, Japan, again. Okay, you would accept the 1% worst score deal. Which again is, it's okay. By no means the worst thing I've ever seen. They will base, again, we don't have machine parts. Until we get interchangeable parts available, like I can't reasonably um, expect good things to happen here. Decisions. Let's do another check on trade. Did anyone else make machine parts yet? No, but Italy is running away with things. They're gonna become they're gonna get so freaking rich. Like how? I mean they're at 126. Yeah, there's like they got like twice as much industrial points as the next power come after, which is Poland. Okay, so we did wipe out an army. I'm gonna send some reinforcements down. Bring you up. We're now at 